Interesting. So it has to be up and down. But we are alive. How exciting. Isn't this neat? Our first live video. And you get to see the sun. So we're actually walking towards our RV. Here at the top of the hill RV. Barney, Texas. There's our beautiful truck. <laughs> beautiful wife. And the RV. And a beautiful sunset. So we're kind of facing the sun. But we're going to show you around. So you can actually see what we're living in. Isn't that exciting? Yes. So the outside, we have these two awnings, which are great for just hanging out and chilling outside. But they also keep the heat off of us when it's beaten down. Which right now in the wintertime is not a big deal. But in the summertime, definitely saves. So this is our garage, the storage area. Not much exciting here. That's propane. Propane's on the other side. The coolest thing about out here, oh, it's locked. It's our outdoor kitchen. It's got a little mini fridge and a cooktop. That's where we keep all the booze. So the rest is just storage stuff where the water goes, the electric goes. So let's go inside. That's where all the fun stuff is. Hi, Bernie. Hi, Bernie. Say hello to the people. Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> All right. Come on, buddy. Come on. So this is the main living quarters. Um, kitchen, living room, and dining room all in one. Table's big enough all four of us get around, which is a bonus. The throne for mom and dad, complete with the theater sitting. It's nice and comfortable when you're watching the show. Oh yes, hello Bernie. We're gonna get back up though. Down we go. And the couch, which actually folds out to a king size sleeper so we can have plenty of guests over. Tons of storage it's where we do a lot of our homeschooling stuff. The fireplace, which is electric. Oh, fireplace. Oh. I can't keep up. I'm very, very slow. <laughs> the fireplace, which is not only beautiful, but it also is electric, so it produces heat. So we don't always have to use the propane. Our television, which is essential for anybody who is living in the 21st century. TV goes down, though, for storage. There's a lovely window back there. It's a living area. Then on to the kitchen. The pantry is probably my favorite part. It's a little messy in there right now, but hey, we live tiny, so you gotta cram what you can in there, right? But we have these awesome pull-out drawers for more storage, for more food stuff. And the little light so you can click on and off. Plenty of countertop space, tons of drawers, storage here. We do have an actual oven in the RV. It's just tiny. So we have this good old convection oven. So we can bake, we can make cookies, roasts, anything. Of course, we have our Instant Pot because we use that most often. And then the sink and island, all that fun stuff. But the awesome thing about this that also makes it feel like a home is the residential refrigerator. Just like home, you can even do ice and water and it stores all of our food so we don't have to make you know a trip to the grocery store every two or three days. And I'm going to steal the camera. Probably the coolest part of this living area is that guy right there. <laughs> yes, he is six foot ten folks. Well, he can kind of touch the ceiling, but not with his head. 
So that's that a bonus. Important. And there is a ceiling fan that I don't have to worry about also. Another bonus. Ceiling fan, the tall man's enemy. Yes. Not in this case. <laughs> it is working quite well. So I can stand up here, great. But when I'm mad, it will. And I need to chase him into his room. That's where we run into problems. Uh-oh. <laughs> but it is quite a neat room. You can walk in there. I do walk in there to hang out sometimes. Hey there, Will. Hi. What you doing? <laughs> Reading. Reading. Do you want to show off your room? Careful now, a little tight. Hey, Mike. <laughs> Hi. This is our table where we play the piano. Cool. This is where all my toys go. Here, extra stuff. Our coloring stuff. Then library books. And my couch. Oh, yes, your couch. What's cool about that couch? It can pull out. It can pull out. Who got to spend some time on that couch with us over Christmas break? Our cousin. Cool. This is my bed. Yep, and what theme have you decorated your room in, Will? Star Wars. Star Wars. He likes the Star Wars. Our big world map, part of school. That's the biggest wall we could find where the littles could see everything. And then on this side he also has an armoire with book storage and shoe storage and clothes. And look at that folks, that is what the closet of a seven-year-old looks like. Fantastic. Bye-bye. All right. On to the next part of the tool. Once again, stand up right here. It's great. It's great. I know this is where it gets a little hazy, but that's okay. Still manageable. I can sort of stand up mostly right here. <laughs> Bonus! And this here is where Isabella comes to sleep. There is a ladder. Oh yes, I forgot the ladder. For her to climb up. It pulls out. Look out there, Mr. Will. And then she squeezes up into the upper loft. What does your bed look like? Well, look out and we'll That's show them. Oh. Hi. Hi. Queen size oh. bed. A queen size bed. That's pretty awesome. Look at all that storage. I fit most of my stuffed animals into. And my pillow. Yeah, we need to organize it, don't we? Yep. Yep. Bernie! And add some decoration, don't we? Yeah. What's that box right there? In your ceiling. It's uh, like a window you can open. Then you get like some fresh air. Oh. No, I don't have a fan. And what can go on this wall behind your noggin? Behind your noggin? This wall. This wall? Yeah. What does this say? What could go up there? TV. A TV. Someday. Yeah. But TV's not that important, is it? Yeah. No. We, no. we could just hide the TV remote out, like right here. We could. Decorating the house with some memories from when the kitties were little. What about mine? And again, their first year pictures when they were bibbis. <laughs> Keep going down the hall to the bathroom. Oh! Hello there! <laughs> so, once again, being a tall fellow, this is where we run into a little bit of trouble. I can put my head in the skylight and stand up. That doesn't always work. So I end up just bending down. Or I can sit down, take a shower. Exciting stuff, I know. But that's just what I have to do to live in here every day. It's really not that bad. No. We got all kinds of storage in the bathroom. Storage under the sink. Medicine! Two medicine cabinets. Shower again. Huge closet that goes the length of the shower with tons and tons of storage and laundry bags. And yes, folks, we do have a toilet and it works. And we get to 
Another cupboard. Tons of storage. Lots of windows for lots of light. And then finally, whose room is this, Will? Yours. My room. I think you got the wrong bed, kid. <laughs> so this is our haven from oh, the little a -tip. from our little monsters. So originally when we bought this rig, it was a king size bed. And you can kind of see it there. There's a a wooden platform that we had sawed down on each side and we went with the queen sized mattress because the king we just didn't have any room. See I can totally walk TV next to the bed without having to turn sideways. We've got windows on either side of the headboard which is nice for not just light but for circulation. And I can stand up. Hooray for standing up. <laughs> Oh, but I do have to duck through the door. Oh, watch your head. Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Here I can show off the rest of the room. Cameraman. Oh, there's a, a hallway. I didn't realize. So, yes, in our room we have. A full-size dresser built into it. Sit down, mister. Sit. We also have a television in here. All of the creature comforts you could possibly need. Television. So yes, I can walk without turning sideways next to our bed. However, when it was a queen size, you had, or a king size, you had to shimmy. So this is definitely much more comfortable. And now we get to snuggle again. And then... I showed this to my brother and sister-in-law and they thought that we were kind of crazy. But this is a huge closet for an RV. So we were really excited about this. It does have lights. So Bill stores his clothes up top. I store mine down below. And then on this side, because Will's closet is so tiny, Bella gets to store her things. So multi-purpose and then if we want to someday it's on our someday list this fabulous closet it is kind of messy folks so you're be warned but this has washer dryer hookups in it behind that little cabinet there so we could put an all-in-one washer and dryer here or we could do a stackable up there we just have to find a way to store all of this crud if we decided to go with that. So for now, it's laundry mats to get our stuff finished. But that's it. That's our home. It's tiny, but it's spacious enough for our tall head of the household. And everyone has their own rooms. Everyone has their own space. And we get to tour and see the country. And we love it. And it's a fabulous lifestyle. And we we're so excited that we took this journey going nine months and we still like each other. Ain't that right, Bernie? Yeah. Meow. <laughs> there you go. That's it. That's that. That's the rest of the story. Thank you. Tell us what you thought. Tell us, is this what you pictured when we say that we're living in an RV? That's right. Not too shabby. Yeah, not too shabby. Shabby, shabby, shabby. Shabby, shabby, shabby. I don't know how to stop recording. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like our page, Nursing Our Travel Bug. Check out our YouTube channel. Check out our blog, Nursing Our Travel Bug, at wordpress.com. Um, yeah. And of course, you're on Facebook. <laughs>